Everyone, welcome back to Build Team Race. We're out here at Texas 2K, and we got a new trailer, and we got Salty out here with a freshly painted hood on it. So we're down here to race the streetcar class, and we needed a hood, so we got it painted on there, got it set, got a few little things to work on, just got to get a couple little last Zeus's to really line up the way I want. Already got C16 in it, but look at the new digs we got. Shoo-wee! So that actually looks pretty gosh dang good. I'll give you guys a full tour here in a little bit. It's a little bit of a mess because we got all the stuff from traveling in there. So we're going to get in the car, run over to Tech, get this thing tucked in. All right, guys, we're tucked in. Weather's looking a lot better, and they just called us to the lanes. April's getting iced up, cleaned up, ready to go? We're almost ready to go. All right, we got to get up there to the lanes. Elias, you ready? Yep. All right. Headed up to the lanes for our first pass of 24. Well, everything goes good. I have the laptop, I have the tune up bill. I'm just going to load it in once we're in the lanes. And uh, hopefully it's just nice and clean. It goes right down through there, we hope. actually see well it started to wrinkle the pan right there along the back which is where the pan touches the belly pan too i want to clean that up and see where we're at with things all right so check the pan we're good pulled the uh, belly off there's a little scratches on that thing but the pan looks good cleaned everything there's a little bit of moisture but nothing nothing major no cracks not a bunch of oil pouring out of it no leaks good to go so we got the tune out of this thing and this is the seven second pass we left on 7.4 pounds of boost. Now here is this pass down here at good elevation with them Garrett turbos building that boost. We, I turned this thing down 150 RPM on the hit. Like, okay, it's gonna make it, it's, we're just need to leave on a little less. Let's just let her, let her be easy. No. Nah. Turn down, mind you, turn down on the hit nine pounds of boost 150 less rpm so i will continue to turn it down more i'll just put 10 clicks in the front shock but that right there if we went 129 on nine this thing was going to try to go shoot 124 five i don't know it would have been fast but the car I, that's like that's a big jump we're not even trying to do that so i'm going to throw a tune up in this thing and we're gonna go try again. We got two less on the dome, and I'll turn down the two-step a little bit, tighten the shocks up. So that's what we're gonna go back up there with and hope for the best. We got pass coming up. Hopefully everything goes good. There's a couple wrecks. Just gotta keep everything good, consistent, smooth. If anything goes wrong, get out of it. And they just prepped the track, so it's really it's fresh. Just hoping we don't do a wheeling and we can just drive it down through there. Or if it is a baby one, it just carries it. Don't feel like it's going to come up on me. So. Otherwise, I'll have to pedal again and we'll go back to the drawing board and get this thing to go down. So.
not bad, not bad. She wanted to drive right for a little bit, so we need to put, figure that out, but I drove back in and went fine, so. I don't think it was crazy mile an hour, maybe 160 something. Put her tuned it down a little bit. You want her in your passenger? Yeah, I put it right here. I got you. Appreciate it. First of all, shout out to Texas Motorplex Group for putting the freaking uh, parachute in the car for me. But 827, 169, 133, 60. But the car barely wheeling. So we'll look at data and then we go turn it up. I got a little bit of smoke in the cabin from coming, coming in through the hood and stuff. So I want to see what, what that's about. Maybe it, maybe it kicked a little oil out of it somewhere on a gasket or something. I want to make sure. Um, or it could be residual from us doing work on the car. Who knows? But 827, 169. Um, we should be able to do something to go high 7s and park us in a pretty good qualifying spot. At least I can fill that out and see where we're at. But uh, hey, it didn't really. So it felt sluggish, but hey, it went right down. Okay, so not too sure what's going on here. It, the bump is absolutely, the button's working, but it's not bumping, but I did turn it down on the two steps, so maybe that's why I didn't bump in. Maybe it's super picky on how much uh, timing I have in the bump compared to how much boost it's gonna make. Obviously, they, that matters, but I didn't think it's super touchy, but then I was like, what in the world is this? Well, I pedaled the car some, and then I think my mat got stuck both under the pedal, and only would let it go to 70%. So if you look at the car, we're just looking at some stuff. And if this is like this, it's got all the play. This was way up here to where that came down. This was like up here to where it came down and touched right there. As you can see, we're not full throttle. We are there, I don't know, maybe it was higher. Not sure what the heck happened, but make sure my mat stays. Make sure we actually get 100% throttle. I feel like I feel like one of those bench racers. Oh, I went this fast, only had this much throttle, but um, 13360, okay. 535, 134, okay. We've been 142. And then uh, 827, 169, we've been 789, 180. So got another 10 mile an hour and about three tenths, four tenths knock off this thing to go what we've been. But at least the car did not do a huge wheelie. It went down, we got some sort of qualifier in. The oil keeps coming from like the valley cover and I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, cleaned it all up. I can't tell if it's coming from, it looks like it's coming from the valley cover. I pulled everything off as you guys saw in the last video. Resealed everything back up new gasket new bolts new everything and it's still pushing it out so i don't know if it's a crankcase thing or what's going on but um i don't know i gotta clean up and probably go out and make another hit just see if we can go faster at 60 see if it carries it looks good probably make a little adjustment on the anti-roll bar and tighten the shocks up just a little bit more because it's still trying to carry the front end but we are getting some separation finally in the rear end so that that's a positive in the lanes for round number three of qualifying there's talk of weather later in the week so trying to get as much as we can in now threw a little bit more at it tightened up the shock see if it'll go down a little bit quicker and hopefully have full throttle this time which i don't think it made a huge difference but definitely made a difference currently on qualified 27th which is the 10th spot in the second group is the first 16 race and the next 16 race and then so on and so forth so everybody seems scared to go into the fast class obviously because like brett's here and he's went i think 642 23 already so pretty crazy if you end up in that class there's some crazy fast guys 701 and probably a couple six second cars by this time this thing's done but uh we're gonna give it a heck and see what we can do
more topside for sure. I felt like the 65, I had to pedal it a little bit where it got out of the groove, but other than that, we were pretty, pretty gosh dang decent. Parachute didn't come out. So I don't know if I goofed the last time. When they set it in, they rolled it up different than how I do it in the car. I usually put everything in first, it came out. And I might have put the bag through it, which seemed weird, but I might have goofed ourselves on that one. Whoops. We'll find out. Either way, at least the brakes work. Stop as well. Thanks, Glowwood. Glowwood giving us that stopping power from 170 whatever mile an hour that probably was. ready to go for our fourth qualifier so put a little more in it hopefully every all the other changes i made fixed everything and we'll go down through there and see what happens all right here we go see how we can do looks like the bump for the fastest a16 cars is 777 a lot of people are trying to land in the second fastest class because otherwise you got to be able to run deep sixes so pretty crazy
guys got the car back in the pits and i want to show you see literally there is oil all over that there's oil hopefully you can see it down there on the valley cover right there like puddled it's all over the firewall it's not through here which is kind of interesting but it spits it back up here i mean you'll see it even out here like like it's even slightly not puddled but like it's wet right there right there and like literally i don't know where else it could be coming from like definitely the heaviest spot is that corner like near the oil pressure sensor but i have sealed it resealed it new sensor everything but then also i'm assuming that the air comes up draws it and throws it forward in the engine bay shit we end up getting it clear up here on like there's a little bit right there so i don't know what to do with this thing it's uh i'm not sure if i have too much crankcase pressure or we didn't i don't know why we would now but it kind of had some i mean we've dealt with it and i cleaned it that's the third time the intake's been on and off of it but i just cannot figure out why this thing keeps pushing oil out of it it's windy here that's super windy right now <laughs> all right everyone so salty's put away for the night i think we actually figured out shout out to tim at borowski helping me figure out all the oil issues it looks like since this head is drilled for ls3 and ls7 that if you don't plug the holes in the head you can actually get oil that comes up through there if they're drilled all the way through. We look back at photos from before when I had the head and it appears that that might, most likely is the problem. So I will be looking tonight for LS7 intake gaskets and some bolts to plug those holes. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We're supposed to have a qualifier. I'm sitting 32. So the, the last guy in the second set of um, fastest, so fast 16, next set of 16, I'm the slowest guy in that class with an 810. We're actually tied with an 810 with another guy um but if we get another look at the track at like saturday i'd like to turn it up and be in that class for sure i really if not i'm the fastest guy in the next class which isn't bad because then i could go 790s possibly win the third class can go tonight to the hotel relax and do a bunch of google and search and figuring out where parts are we're 40 minutes from summit if i have to run there get that stuff come back work on the car tomorrow and then get after it the next time we can get on the track once the car is fixed well, I'm on the road. I dropped Elias in April off at the track so he gets some work done. And I am headed up to Summit to try to get some intake gaskets and then figure out some bolts for the intake. And we're gonna go from there. So then I'll go back, get it all pulled apart and try to get it repaired by the end of the day. Well, here we are, Summit in Arlington. Go in here and grab the intake gaskets. I was just saying, this would be a bad, bad thing if I was local to this store because it'd make it way too easy to go buy all the parts you need. I've never actually been here, so this is sick. Got cars up in the front on turntables. That's pretty cool. I see a bunch of people posting when they get their car featured in here in the front display, but shoo. Got a bunch of things, even a dragster hanging from the ceiling. All right, we gotta go get our parts, get back to the track. Goods acquired, now time to get back to the track and fix it. Got the gaskets, got some cleaning supplies. This place is a monster. It's pretty cool. You actually order there, then you go back there, and then they pull all the things out of the warehouse back there, bring them up to you, give them to you, so you can get work on your car. Never seen so many happy guys walking away with a smile after they grab their new car parts and start heading to the door to walk out. It's so funny, just like me, right now, I got what I needed. Quick and easy. So, back to the track. Well, welcome to the new trailer. And Salty's back in it because we're, we're using this thing as a garage to work on it. Although it's pretty humid, I figure if it rains, I don't want to be out there working on it in the rain. So, especially with opening the engine up. So, I'm going to start pulling this thing apart, get it apart, seal those things up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute, and then get gaskets on this thing and back together. Current situation, standing in the engine bay, makes it easy to work on how we kind of designed it. Not really. Um, but here we go. So, holes the intake uses holes the intake doesn't use and see all the oil oil you can actually see where it's wet down around from this one but you can see where oil is puddling in the in that hole that hole that hole that hole that hole not that one so maybe that one doesn't go all the way through but or that one was sealed by the the gasket possibly or whatever but gonna get all this oil cleaned up and then we'll get new gaskets back on it um i need to put the little screws down in here 
So I'm probably gonna tape up the holes, figure that out. And then I can, so I don't drop a set screw down in the cylinder while I'm doing it. And then hopefully we can get back to going. All right, here we go. So plugs are in all the lower holes. What I ended up doing was taking set screws. I went out here with my hammer on the edge of the fuel can and smashed the top couple threads on the screw. So then it couldn't just work its way down. I put a little bit of the right stuff on there and a little blue Loctite on each one and throw them down in there. If they don't ever come out, I honestly don't care. So whatever, but I definitely don't want them like auto rolling themselves down into the, where the cam and lifters and everything else are. So I smashed a little bit, set them down in there. They actually have a little bit of torque on each one of them. So I'm gonna let everything set, clean everything up a little bit and then put the intake back on. Got the intake back on it. Just hooking up our last few lines, like our fuel pressure regulator boost reference line that is super important. Almost got it, almost. They're done racing for the day here at the track. So we'll be all right, that was my plan anyway. Just take our time, get this thing done right. Hopefully everything is good to go now. I feel a lot better about it. It makes total sense how we are getting so much oil. And if everything is good, we're gonna go make a shot tomorrow. Probably one good one, similar tune up, more 60 in it, see what we can do there. And then after that one, we might try to get after it. They do roll race, qualifying, elim or I think elimination tomorrow. And then if there's time, a drag race qualifier, drag race qualifying Saturday and then racing on Sunday. So it is a heck of a week if you ever come spend the whole time. There's people showing up throughout the week, but it's a great way. I think they did seven, got through the seventh qualifier for our class today. We made four, they did five and six, I think. I think they even maybe did a third of seven. So crazy that they got so many qualifiers in for a class. Super awesome, great testing, great track. Even when they have issues, they're right on it and get it back up running fairly fast. So it's been a really awesome event. And we almost got a running driving car again. Today, 937 of Texas 2K. It's been a long week. Watched roll racing yesterday. Didn't get any passes in with the car because of some rain. We got the car out. We're getting ready to go. They're already calling cars for lanes. Nice early morning. And we're going to try to go make a good hit with Salty. I put a high seven second tune up in this thing. And hopefully, if we can stay in at the whole pass and everything goes well, we can get a good seven and move us up in that second group of 16 qualifiers. Right now, we're in the third group. I'd like to be in the second group so then we can continue to go faster like in eliminations and stuff like that, which is tomorrow. So I think Salty's ready to go. We're pretty good. I might, might end up putting the tighter packs in the shocks because we're already kind of out of the, I got the rebound as tight as possible there. Otherwise we're looking pretty good. Wiped everything off, tightened up a few things, added a little oil from it, kicking oil out of it. And I think we're about ready to go. Here we are, our fifth round of qualifying overall. I think it's the eighth round, but since we skipped a couple, um, here we are. I think seventh, maybe then. Got a good tune up in it. Trying to go a high seven here. A, a good seven i don't know if we got a pb there but with the air and everything down here on the 60 foot maybe maybe we got a pb not sure well, it's possible 789 is our previous pb maybe we can do something better here
last pass, it rained and it's still raining. So I think we're probably gonna be done for the day. We'll find out here soon. And uh, if we get another cancer track, awesome. And if not, we're going in tomorrow, not qualified where I want, not in the class where we want, but everything is so fast down here. Even in the th third group of streetcar, so tight, so fast that we can still go, I think, 760 tomorrow. So we have a tune-up in the car that should go pretty fast. The last one should I thought went faster than we did, but oh well, we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll see how this weather turns out. <laughs> Final day of Texas 2K is here. Salty is ready to go. All that rain yesterday, what a mess, but we got the car ready, we got first round. We're actually, the guy we're running ran the exact same time as us. We had a little more mile an hour, but he went eight, 10 with an eight. We qualified with eight, 10 with an eight. So going over everything on the car, wiping it down, making sure we're good to go. And then we got to tune up in this thing. We can go, so our class, the top qualifier in our class went 780 something. I can look back. You can go two tenths quicker, so we can go 760 something. I think it's an eight. So we're gonna put a tune up in this thing to hopefully go into the sevens pretty solid. If we do it, we'll be a new PB. If we break out, I'll be happy because it's a PB, but hopefully we go a PB and win it without going faster than 768. So we're gonna go up there, run our race, and see if we can get a win. in the lanes ready to go got a good tune up in this thing it's actually we've had about a 30 or 40 minute rain delay just slight sprinkles just enough to be a pain in the butt we've dealt with rain this entire time huh yes yeah we have yeah so hopefully it uh clears up it sounds like they're getting ready to race so i'm gonna get my stuff on and hopefully we can uh, get a pass in here as long as everything is good and safe on the track <laughs>
Here you go, brother. Oh, passenger? Yes, sir, please. I got you. Bad. I thought I nope, nope, you're good. You're good. I appreciate it. Making my life easy. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Hi, right, baby. Thank you. Good. actually the same tune-up in the car i'm just going to shift it a little bit higher because it wasn't dropping on the rpm so let's see what it does
go! I mean, I can't, but oh my gosh. Wow. What a surprise. You guys won GX2K. Neither of you are going to should have been in the final. <laughs> no, not on paper. You not both paper. got faster as yeah. you went along. They're freaking got amazing. Got dialed in and finally got it all figured out. Wow. Wow. You guys just won GX2K. We just won GX2K. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys, we won 2X2K. tune-up was going to go with that number. You so want to slow it down a little bit? Sure I, I was like, out. well, and then I, he was like there, Hell and I was yeah. like, I grabbed the scramble, just kind of, uh, yeah. and then I was like, oh, crap, and I grabbed the brake. <laughs> so we had scramble and brake all the same pass. Freaking brake. Oh, crazy. my God, you won GX2K! <laughs> he kicked the shit out of me. I, like, if there's anybody I had to lose, I'm glad it's you. Either of you should have been the final. No, no. I'm here. I was going to I was Oh, I love that for you. Dude. 118 to the 60. PB, 118. 118 to the 60. 
60. Yeah, I didn't even know mine was 120 something. How many sevens did you run today? Three. <laughs> From zero to and three. How many sevens did you run? Hey, you run today? No, no, no. It's right here. Congrats to you, sir. Woo! Walking to Waffle House <laughs> next to a Wendy's while we park at a Home Depot at 1.30 in the morning after leaving Texas 2K with a trophy. We won Texas Wee! 2K! We won! <laughs> so, it's been a long, long week, but holy cow, we are what an award, super though. happy. What though. an award that it has been. But guys, it's freaking time to eat some food, find us a hotel, and get some sleep, and then get back to Colorado. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you would hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next video.